Hey folks, welcome back to the channel and to more Star Ocean, the second story. So I want to share with you the second good grind spot that I found in the game so far. So this is for gaining levels for our party and I haven't really done a whole lot with it yet. So I'm still only level 28 myself, but I'm hoping to gain a good few levels with this method. So this is still really an early game grind. It's available about seven to eight hours into the adventure when the story first brings you over to Harley. This is when this becomes available. You can come to Harley before this, but the quest that we need, which is a side quest, is only activated and becomes available when the story brings us to this location. And in fact, it will start here with these gents just standing by the save point. They will have an event marker by them, which will start the side quest itself. And that will require us to go and slay a dragon. So the dragon is going to be located all the way back in Selva. So we're going to head over there now. Uh, in fact, let's teleport over to the jewelry shop since that's probably the closest location, in fact. Because we need to make our way into the mines. Now, once you've got the side quest, before you head into the mines themselves, you are going to want to head into this building because there is a soldier you will need to speak to. Okay, and he's standing just here. I've already done this. The quest objective will bring you here anyway. But speak to him and he will tell you, yep, go into the mines and slay the dragon. And then what you want to do in the mines is you can start by teleporting over to the depths, which is a fast travel waypoint you will already have available to you from earlier in the story. And then you will have to run all the way up north to the next save point, which as you can see, I've currently unlocked. And there's all the treasures that I've looted as well, so you can see where they are on the map. If you want to pause the video, there's some nice treasures to be found. But I'm just going to go ahead now and teleport all the way back to the final save point. Because this is where the grind spot is going to be. Now, some of the enemies here are quite challenging. So make sure you are nicely decked out with as best gear as you can get and you can check out my previous video talking about some easy gear upgrades that you can purchase if you need to and also make sure that you've boosted up your stats from the item creation skills menu just spend your skill points on gaining the right stats for your characters right now i've only got two characters in my party but that's absolutely fine it's nice to get them some levels and that's what this grind spot is going to allow us to do so one little tip, you may want to have some poison resistance available. Okay, you can have accessories. Let me just show you actually an accessory that you can purchase if you wish. And that is the amulet of anti-venin. Venin. Uh, that will nullify poison, which might be helpful, but I'm too lazy to equip that because I do like to keep some of these other accessories equipped, especially the Meteor Ring Plus, which increases the amount of tax, attack sorry, that Claude can use. So let's go ahead and start the grind. Now we only got a two battle here, a two link. But hey, it should give us some nice experience. And of course the save point is a recovery save point as well, which is really helpful due to the fact that, yep, any grinding location needs to have one of those really. You have to excuse me guys, it's late at night as I'm recording this, I'm so tired. But I wanted to get this content made for you. And just two battles there gives us over 2,000 experience. Which, with some experience bonuses I've got, is plus 1,746 per character. And yeah, we're going to be able to get chains much bigger than that as well. Let me show you another one. But before we do that, I just want to show you uh, that ability that I have that gives me more experience. It's the train ability. I've got it to level 5 with both party members. So if you don't have that, I'd recommend it. Yeah, it's effort, okay? That allows you to level up train to at least level 5 on both party members. So, it's worthwhile. You can also use the ability that gives you more SP and BP. Battle points as well, which is what I'm using. Oh yeah, it's under the super speciality, it's enlightenment. The downside is you do lose a little bit of foam. But we should have plenty of money by this stage if you followed my previous video about that. And getting 18% more skill points and battle points is obviously a good thing indeed. And definitely worthwhile. So let's grab a few more enemies here. And this is a chain of four, I believe. So a little bit better at only one enemy. So not a huge amount of experience here, annoyingly. But it'll get the points across. 
This is actually a really nice grinding spot. It's really easy to power up your party in this game, I've noticed. At least in the early game so far for me. Um, but if this, you know, Star Ocean is anything like the other Star Oceans that I've played, then there are going to be some seriously tough challenges coming up our way. So having these extra levels is really going to help us in the long run, I think. These are the enemies that can inflict poison. As you can see, they've done so already. It's not a huge deal. And Rena does have an anti-venom spell. But like I say, you can equip an anti-poison accessory. 8,000 experience from one, one battle. A chain of four, but very, very quick to get through. We also gained some bonus SP and BP thanks to my abilities. Yeah. A really, really helpful grinding spot here. To gain at least, I want to say, five to six levels without any issue whatsoever. So a nice boost for this part of the game. Let's go for another one here, shall we? Uh, what was that? Three or four? Yeah, only three. I mean, I should be getting five, really. But like I say, I'm tired. So you'll have to forgive me for that. It's still a lot of experience. Don't forget to break the leader here in these battles, as that will also break the other enemies as well in the battlefield. Okay, that's the second fight. Look how fast we get through these. That's because I boosted my attack stat quite remarkably using the item creation stat boost skills. So just spamming circle now is pretty much all I need to do to get through these fights. Another 7,500 experience. And another level. Look at that. Two battles. And each time we got a level for both party members. That's how fast this grind is, guys. So, yeah, definitely worthwhile checking out. Um, I can't remember if I mentioned this, but make sure if you haven't already, you've got scouting turned on for look for enemies. Pretty obvious, but it's worth the mention because that will just lay to chain enemies faster. All right then, folks. Well, hope this little video helped and I'll see you next time.